Yeah, good evening, sir. Um, sir. Arul Murugan, sir. Shall we start, sir? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Sir, good afternoon, sir. Professor Krishna, sir. Good afternoon. Ah, good evening. Good evening. Okay. Um, okay. We will start the program. So, first of all, I'm very happy to be here. For organizing a three day online workshop on innovation ecosystem, which is related to NAC criterion 3. So, we are very happy in this occasion. We know very well that Indian Academic Researcher Association is one of the well known association which is consistently organizing n number of program for the benefit of the academic fraternities. In this view, today also we are organizing one of the very important uh, workshop which is very useful to the academicians, research scholars and also the faculty members. Uh, in this way, uh, really I am very happy to introduce the today resource person, Dr. Arul Murugan. Before that, I must uh, uh, welcome uh, Dr. Krishna Kumar sir from Periyar University, Dr. Mubarak Ali sir from Jamal Muhammad College and many more uh, friends, colleagues and well-wishers, those who have joined in this program. So really, on behalf of the Indian Academic Researcher Association, uh, very soon our All India General Secretary Dr. Pranamdar will join because he has some academic commitment in his university so that he will join very soon and also he will offer a felicitation address. Uh, before that, because we don't want to waste uh, time of the participants. The participant time and uh, their effort is more important. So, so that uh, uh, before we are going to starting this program, just I want to uh, introduce the today resource person, Dr. V. Arul Murugan. He has completed doctorate in Commerce, Logistics Science in University of Madras. MPhil Commerce, MCOM Business Finance and MBA International Business from Pondicherry University. He has also professionally qualified in UGC Net JRF in Commerce and UGC Net in Management. He has 19 years of teaching experience and also he has research extension and social initiatives in University of Metras, Anonymium Sundarnar University and Pondicherry University. His specialization is commerce science and research, very particularly e-commerce, <coughs> e-banking, logistic science, entrepreneurial science and finance, behavioral science and business research and data analysis. He has guided 14 MPhil research scholars 
108 postgraduate students and presently guiding four PhD doctoral research scholars. He has received 32 awards and recognition, including six best uh, teachers awards of Pondicherry University based on the students' evaluation, dribble gold medals from various institutions, and also he has completed an ICSSR major research project as a project co-director. He has published 23 research articles in referred journals including UGC listed and ABDC uh, indexed journals. He acted as a reviewer for publishers like Sage, Interscience and United Law Journals. He has presented 42 research papers in international and national conference and seminars and received two best research papers awards. He is also a research advisor, board of studies, expert members and advisory committee members in higher educational institutions. He delivered 289 invited lectures, talks including webinar, virtual FDP, online events and initiatives from other countries like Sri Lanka. You know very well, Arul Murugan is always acting as a resource person wherever uh, any programs very particularly relating to the research methodology and funding opportunities definitely Arul Murugan name will be there. So that kind of uh, eminent and uh, notable personalities uh, in his field not only in his field in any field he has organized 52 programs including three national workshop on business research analysis and ICT EDP sponsored program, uh, MSME uh, sponsored program, NSTC programs, so like that he has organized. He is the mentor of uh, budding researcher, UGC, Net Set and Civil Service. He has given a very good uh, inspirational and motivational uh, speech for those who are uh, preparing UGC, Net Set and Civil Service examination is presently serving as an assistant professor stage 3, research supervisor in the Department of Commerce, School of Management, Pondicherry University, Karaykal Campus, uh, and also he is a placement officer. He is also a coordinator of Karaykal Campus of Pondicherry University. He is the NSS program officer. He is the hostel warden. He is the sports coordinator. He is the transport coordinator. He is the ELC nodal officer, he is the SVEEP campus ambassador, he is the member students grievance cell, he is the member internal audit committee, he is the coordinator national innovation and startup policy and he is the coordinator entrepreneurship wing, rural entrepreneurship cell of the university. So even uh, we are not able to remember uh, how the Arul Murugan is remember and rendering this kind of services almost he is, a, uh, is more than 20 responsibilities taken in his university apart from that he is acting as a expert committee member uh, board of studies member and other member academic members editorial board members in various uh, uh, institutions and various uh, uh, academic and research bodies so we really we are very happy to sum up, he is the inspirational speaker, writer, scientific researcher, data analytics, career counselor and socio-technocrat. So he has coined a new terminology like socio-technocrat. That means he is the expert in the field of the social as well as the uh, technology. Today really we are very happy. Uh, uh, we got very good uh, resource person to deliver and discuss some things about the, uh, this kind of information, uh, innovation ecosystem. Uh, really, we are very happy, sir, because uh, uh, very long back we are associate, uh, because you have committed with some other, uh, some, some more uh, engagements. We also committed with some more engagements, but every day, every program, in every program, we, we think about your uh, scholarness and uh, eminence uh, so when the chance will come definitely we will utilize so like that we decided so I think this is the nice uh, chance uh, 
uh, for utilizing your uh, uh, talent and uh, exposure uh, in this topic with this uh, information i am uh, very happy and i hand over the session to the uh, dr arul murugan thank you sir mm. thanks a lot sir for uh, giving uh, such a uh, what you call as a light uh, the invitation as well as the online hospitality and uh, most important like before i start uh, thanks for your invitation and uh, especially to reach uh, the active researchers and experienced researchers in uh, the entire india maybe i don't know or like if you are putting it in uh, google meet or putting it in uh, what you call as youtube live it reaches the globe rather than uh, within the state or uh, country so truly you are uh, i mean this workshop is a virtual workshop which reaches the globe and uh, with this note before i start i just uh, on behalf of the uh, joining with the participants i want to wish you uh iniya perandanal vaithukal sir happy birthday to you uh, thank you sir <laughs> so, thank you thank that's you that's why i was very particular that uh, it has happened in a, a very auspicious day that one of the inspiring personality i know him uh, personally as well as i have been following may not be he may not be knowing me so <laughs> Some of the things which are me following it, like he is one of the inspiration for many of the uh, scholars in uh, commerce, especially throughout India, based on this. And one more reason is that uh, uh, before two years, I was also blessed to be part of the life member of uh, the our association. Yes. So there is another blessing which uh, uh, Sir has given to me. With this note, uh, uh, directly I will get into my job. What I have been assigned to me and probably like. Uh, before i move on i just want to check it out everyone like uh, we do understand that it's a pandemic and the last two years we we have been in online and uh, but uh, truly speaking it is not any kind of disturbance to academics uh, because it's it's more like uh, moving from a physical uh, uh, resources to digital resources digital ambience uh, which has given more uh, uh, what you call it as a kind of ambience for us to work on much more research uh, bring it out much more uh, publications uh, especially in this pandemic if you look into the, uh, the the contribution of researchers in terms of their uh, research and uh, innovation it is much more in last two years comparatively before pandemic even though we say because we are working at home we are working in office today it is 24 into 7 that every time we are thinking about our research every time we are thinking about getting published publishing our works and uh, it is giving a lot of researchers an upper hand to work on more research on it Uh, that is why I think uh, Sarah has taken a very pertinent, uh, uh, what you call a, not a kind of issue, the pertinent thing which a researcher has to understand, like uh, the uh, the ecosystem, innovative ecosystem, as well as a faculty is concerned. And you know that when Sarah was inviting me, it is like it's a third criteria, and it is given by the NAC all those stuff. But with the two introductory slide, I'll also touch upon that. So before I move on, uh, I just want to know from the participants. Like, uh, what is your expectation from my session? I just want to know. You can unmute and speak, or uh, you can put it in the chat box. I'm viewing your chat box also. Just at least few people come forward and tell me what is your expectation from this session. Because uh, you have seen in the invitation, all those details are there, and the title which is listed on me is resource mobilization for research. So, what do you understand, or what kind of expectations you have? Probably with that note. probably i can i can just deliver the content which i have or which we can discuss on and last 10 minutes we will have for discussion that by if you have any kind of additions add ons or if you have if you need any kind of clarifications or if you want to question me that okay are what you said is wrong this is right well we need to that is what uh, uh, our research association research association always puts for right sir can you enlighten us with some new research topics and ideas Okay, <coughs> sorry. I will answer this question at the end. Research topics and ideas. Okay, so you want a ready-made uh, rebella wants a ready-made answer, ready-made topic, ready-made ideas. So how far it is, we'll look it. End of the day. Right. So one thank you, uh, Aishal, for uh, giving that uh, thing which uh, give me a platform that where I'm supposed to go. So with this note, uh, I'm moving on to my presentation. I'm sharing my screen. So just we are going to enjoy. It is not a kind of uh, uh, an online workshop where I will be delivering and you will be taking it. Yes, we will try to recollect, review, and probably if any new takeaway is there from my side. Surely we will take it. 
So whether my presentation is viewable, sir, someone can help me out. Not, yeah, yeah, now it is presenting, sir. Yes, sir, presenting, okay. sir. Thanks a lot. So I think uh, uh, Indian Academic Researchers Association has not only separately doing it, and uh, Sam already, like, he is a part and parcel of Indian Accounting Association also. So thanks to both the association and uh, one man who takes a lead, uh, Dr. Parmasivam, sir, and uh, uh, let us all uh, thank him on his body. Let us move on to that. Right. So this is what normally match criteria. We have the seven criteria. I think uh, all the uh, teachers and research scholars or researchers, in my opinion, uh, in this group may know it. And uh, Sam has taken one particular criteria, which is uh, research, innovation, and extension. And uh, with that, he has moved his workshop, like uh, uh, which comprises of resource mobilization for research, innovation ecosystem, research publication and awards, extension activities, and collaboration. So it is not only talking about research, it is not only talking about innovation, it is also talking about extension. Uh, that is what probably like when Sir was uh, just uh, giving a glimpse of my profile, you would have understood why I have gone to all those extensions, right? So, I'm not really part of this, I'm not really part of teaching. So, this is what our uh, uh, the UTC is expecting from us. Uh, our uh, Ministry of Education is expecting from us, Government of India is expecting from us. As a teacher, we need to be a researcher, we need to be involved in innovation, we need to be involved in extension. And ultimately, your publication and awards will come when you start doing it, and your, your collaborative efforts also will be moving on. Probably these three days will give you much more uh, uh, added information to you. So with this note, I am moving into the one part of it, which is mobilization for us. That is what the uh, presentation has given me to take care. And uh, which I mean, when you say research, I mean uh -huh. it is a scientific uh -huh. research, whether it belongs to science or social sciences. Whatever we do, there is a systematic way of doing it. Yeah. That is why I normally uh, yeah, uh, I call yeah. as research, I normally call it as a scientific research. Hello. And you must understand Hello. 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 Uh, the resource materials or resource, how to mobilize the resource for research. We need to understand where and all the research, uh, uh, the resources are required. Number one, to acquire a degree, we involve in research. Even for undergraduation today, a minor research is taken care of, a project is taken care of, an assignment has to be done, where a research component is involved. Whether it is an undergraduation or a post-graduation or a MPhil degree or a PhD degree or a postdoc research, you know that ICSSR has, uh, uh, last week uh, they have revealed uh, the new list of uh, postdoctoral researchers for new admission to the GIA. So just now one of my one of my good friends is also got the uh, seat and he is going to join. So probably to acquire a degree in the name of project, dissertation, or thesis, we normally involve in research. Number two, whenever we involve in uh, presenting a research paper in a seminar or a conference or any level, virtually or physically, normally we involve in research. Beyond that, if you want to get your, uh, I mean, if you want to get your publications in the online or offline or edited volumes or books or print journals, we normally involve in research because that has to be backed up by research. And even if you want to organize any seminar, conference, or so for example, SAR is organizing this three days workshop, virtual workshop, online workshop. It doesn't mean that he is not having any research. He has done an amount of research. That's what the last two slides will give you that he has made a research on that and he has taken one topic. So whether you are going to conduct any FDP or training programs, if you are going to be the organizer, then you will be making a research. Then only you can give it which topic or when or where, so all those tasks. Beyond that, uh, if you are going for research projects, for example, uh, funded projects, or if you are getting into independent projects, like uh, minor, macro, or major projects, especially from funding agencies like UDC, ICSSR, DST, or any government agencies nationally or internationally, or even you can apply for funding for conducting organizing programs. So in such cases, like you need to, you will be involved in research. And most important part is the final one. Once you complete all these, you will be part of research guidance and supervision. You may be guiding as a teacher, you may be guiding undergraduation students, or post-graduation students, or MPhil degree students, <coughs> or PhD students, or PDF scholars. So in that case, that will be involving research in the angle of guidance, and that will work on the publication. So these are the 
a nutshell area where we can understand that we involve in research. Whenever we involve in research on these things, right, we need to have resources. How to mobilize that resources? That is what we are going to discuss today. Is that okay? Can anyone acknowledge? Did I brought it into the limelight that what we are going to do today? Can anyone acknowledge? Yes, sir. So. Ah, great, great. Thanks a lot for it. So, as I told you that uh, uh, we, within one or two slides, within two minutes, I just want to refresh you what is scientific research. Then I will tell you how to mobilize the resources for that. <clears throat> Whenever we are talking about scientific research, we need to understand scientific research approach. And we need to understand scientific research process. So, if you look into that, researching of information, finding new things, fact finding process, identifying a problem, or finding solution a problem, all these we call it as a research. You take it in any discipline for that matter, whether it is interdisciplinary or multidisciplinary or multidisciplinary, whatever it is. Like if you are going to do any one of these, right, or any combination of this, that is what research. It is out of my experience I have made it. It is not copied from any of the books. So if you do, if you take any research, it will be landing up only on this. Right? But you cannot do with rule of thumb. You cannot do a research by your own ideas. There are well-proven theories, well-proven methodologies, well-proven systematic way or scientific methodologies available to conduct a research globally. That is where slightly some of the research we are unable to match with the global expectation. That is where it goes on. When you look into the approaches, there are, in my opinion, there are only two kind of research is there globally. Any subject you take. One is descriptive research, the other one is exploratory research. If you are going to describe what as it is the reality, as it is the fact, then it is called as descriptive. If you are going to Put your mind, your thinking, your uh, perception, your attitude, your ideas, then it is called as exploratory research. So you need to decide whether you are going to do descriptive research or you are going to do exploratory research. Either you have to enter, enter into that. When you are doing that, whether you are going to use the number or you are not going to use the number. If you are going to use the numbers and you are going to do any research, then we call it as quantitative research. There are so many models, methods, techniques, formulas are available. Right? Algorithms, you take a neural schema in computer science, which is available. You can use it. But in qualitative research, there are areas where the numbers is not required. Perception, description, right? review is required. Content analysis is required. For example, in history, in literature, in philosophy, we use not only qualitative research rather than quantitative research. And we should not forget that whenever we do any kind of research, either we do it on a population, the whole population for the study, or if the population is huge, if we are not able to do it, then we pick up a sample and we do a sample survey or sample research. When you are picking up a sample, if you are taking only one unit, one sample, one unit, one industry, one economy, one country, one book, then it is called a case study. One case. It can be individual, it can be group. One thing I discovered here is mixed research. The new norm which has come out is if you are going to combination of both qualitative and qualitative descriptive and exploratory, that is called a mixed research. And if you take it, if you read any books, my dear friends, they will do a number of approaches. This is and when you look into the research process, you have to define the research problem. And uh, this is a ton uh, process, you can take a screenshot, ton process that you have to involve in research. That means research never ends. I didn't read the research problem, that's what one of your participants was asking. So I can you give interview ideas and topics? Okay. So objectives, hypothesis, the predetermined assumptions, defining or designing your research and uh, uh, the, the, the survey or methodology, collecting the data, walk out, uh, uh, analyzing the data, writing the report, submission for evaluation, going for presenting it, getting the review from the people, and uh, creating or uh, coming out with the publication, 
with all the guidelines of uh, the publishers, reputed journals, uh, maybe uh, UGC CAR, SCI, or Scopus, or MDC rated. So you normally get into that, and uh, probably you continue your research. That is what I think uh, uh, Indian Researchers Association is always looking for. Us. Right? That is what Sarah is doing more than a decade, like uh, Sarah is involved. Right? And he has uh, involved all the researchers together. And if you take any steps here in all these process, this is what I mean, this is a scientific research process. If you are going to do for any purpose, as I told you, or uh, any approach you follow, but these steps is more important. When you are involving these steps, where is the resources? Where I am going to collect that idea? Where I am going to generate my research idea? Where I am going to frame it? What are the review I am going to make it? Where I am going to collect the data? What are the technological or technical tools which is available to analyze it? How I am going to draft it? Is there any guideline for drafting? How I can publish? So for all these, you need resources. That is what today we are going to concentrate. So before I move on, Dr. Ram is me. I will give you that. Dr. B. Alan Murden. I have come out with a, a kind of simplified approach for any researcher. <coughs> if you are starting your uh, research work, if you are starting to write a paper, or if you are going to apply for any project funding, this will be normally in a broader way we do research. Either we want to acquire a degree, and you will explore new units. For example, there are so many studies which are not there with uh, some of the unreachable citizens, unreachable people that we have not at all explored. For example, we are talking about cryptocurrencies today. Today we don't know who is investing in cryptocurrencies. We are not aware what is the investor psychology of cryptocurrencies. That is why it is going here and there. Governments so all are putting their effort, even the World Economic Forum recently. All uh, the, the, the heads of the uh, economy are concentrating on it. And it should be new, entirely new. If either it should be, you should, at least in my PhD, I have come up with one variable. Out of doing seven years of PhD, I came up with one variable recognized by a French logistician in LinkedIn. So if you are able to come up with one word in the entire PhD work, entire project work we do, entire paper work we do, that is more than enough. Don't look for some new kind of order or something. If you are able to add on, right, we know income minus expenses is savings. It leads to investment. That is a basic economic theory. But in India, you know that I did a little research, that equation never works. In India, do you know what is the equation we have? Income minus saving is equal to expenses. See? The basic equation of economics is Income minus expenses is equal to savings. I earn, I spend, I save. But in India kind of things, we are not getting into currency crisis because like Sri Lanka, you know what is happening in the last few, a few months, a few, one or two years. Their inflation is cropping up. A rise is going beyond 1,000 rupees. Why? Because they are, we, what we do, you know, if we go and ask our own moms, they say, income, okay, minus savings, I'll keep some savings. Then I spend. How do you see the equation itself gets changed? A small change. And the Q stands for utility. The other research work should give a utility value. Useful to you, useful to us, useful to the society, utility to the policy maker to frame policies. And beyond that, if you want to do this novelty and utility, what should be that is feasibility. Yes, that's for right, so feasibility. Feasibility in terms of, I'm not down your discussion. Feasibility in terms of three things. One is time, resources, and funds. Whether we can complete our research within the time, within one year or two years, within the stipulated time of three years. So what is the time limit? That we need to understand. If your time it is only one year, according to that you have to do your research. And the second important piece of the key is resources. Whether resources will be available, adequate resources will be available. Whether I am in a position to mobilize those resources. Here I mean resources is nothing but the content. 
right? They paid their knowledge, published knowledge already existing with us, the methods, models, reviews, which I call it, techniques, data, right? So what are the resources? Non-fund resources, non-financial resources. And there is a financial resource, which I should have mentioned, financial resource, which we call it as fund. If you want to do any research, my dear friends, without money today, we cannot do. Even nowadays, we say information is free online. I am sorry. Today, most of the informations are paid. If you want access, you need to pay. Maybe as an individual, you may not. <coughs> your institution may make payment to get it. And even if you are using your internet, it's not free. You are recharging your mobile for 350 rupees every month for free. Uh, what it may be like one to three GB of data. Now comes the 300 rupees. If you are doing for two years, two years, uh, 24 months into 300 rupees, who will give that? Minimum amount of the book. Beyond that, you need to have a laptop. You need to have your assistance. Beyond that, you need to have the resources, materials, digital access, open access. Even for that, open access is not free. You are paying it, actually. Nothing is free in this world. That's what, uh, uh, whatever freedom is not free. Uh, the uh, Shu Kare used to say that. I, I read his book on that. So we need funds. That is also one of the resources. So resources, when I talk about financial resources, not financial resources. How to mobilize that? That is what I'm going to concentrate on. Right. Again, theses are available, books are available. Journals are available, databases are there. Everything, if you go to a library, you find it. Days has gone. We are not going to library, but still we are purchasing books, keeping in the library. Every education institution, universities, everything they are having libraries now, and in every library you find a lot of resources. Well, the researchers, maybe, in my opinion, before a decade, all the researchers know the go. We need to go to libraries and we need to access the resources, the materials. But today, because of this lockdown, we are not going out. So, I am not going into the physical resources, which I don't want to waste your time. Because, of course, like uh, Sam was saying one hour, so hardly I have 30 minutes to move on. Digital resources. So, first two parts. First part, I am going to tell you. I discuss with you digital resources for research, the second part, funding resources for research. These are the two things which I'm going to concentrate on, as I was saying. So when you call this digital resources, look into this file. One is e-thesis. Some of you may be aware, if you are in India, please understand, go to Saur Ganga, a national repository of Indian theses, which is available. South Ganga in If you go there, uh, don't worry, I will uh, uh, give this PPT to Sir and uh, Sir can share to any, every participant. Don't worry about that. Just understand it rather than copying this, taking a screenshot. I will send this PPT to Sir and probably he will share to you in the WhatsApp group. Or even I am in the WhatsApp group, I will also share this PPT in the WhatsApp group. Don't worry about that. You can use it. Because research has to be should have an ethnic value, it should have an ethics that we need to share resources. And the other one is like South Gangotri, where you find synapses. And you know that if you look into all those, University of Madras stands first. So all the education institution institutes are informed by UBC to upload all the theses, convert all the theses as an sort of online repository where you can access. Those days, if you want to see any thesis, you have to go to library. It will be in a big job. Today, it is available with the top button. Then we have Network the Digital Library of Thesis and Dissertation, NPLTD, where you can get it. The Procost, uh, which is a private one, where we get dissertation and thesis available, where you can access it. Okay? And uh, again, there is an open access Procost dissertation and thesis is there. Ethos. Uh, run by British Library, they understood that uh, uh, we need to go online. So they've gone to online, around 4 lakh uh, 
Our doctoral theses are available in the course. So we can access all those. So, so theses for research are the best resources which is available where you can see the entire garment from page one to page. Uh, think everything, how the idea is generated, what is the team, what is their objectives, what is the methodology, what are the tools they use, where is the data. So everything you can see. The next one is ebooks. See, nowadays researchers are using only e journals. They are not even bothered about thesis. But beyond e journals, beyond research articles, in the leading journals, we need to access the reference books also. A lot of theses nowadays, or a lot of research work publication is missing with their conceptual definitional clarity. Even uh, when I was uh, reviewing a paper, they have done a wonderful work. They have not explained the key research variable. I have given a review stating that they should explore that with the reference books, base books, and they should write the definition of it in one or two lines in the publication. That's more necessary. You cannot directly introduce a variable as such. It should have in what context you are using it. That is more important. Right? For example, Blackwell reference, Cambridge keybooks, Credora reference, Epsco, Academic Book Collection, Emerald, Axport, Sage, Springer, Chiler and Francis, Billy, or ebook digital library. If you go there, you get all kind of books. That, for example, I tell you, as I was saying that I did my research work on logistic science. I want to find out exactly when the word logistics came in and uh, I want to find out what is the definition given at that time, whether the definition is same now. Believe me, in Hayward Business Review, in 1964, I find an article, 1964, I find an article in Hayward Business Review where <coughs> the definition for logistics was given for the first time. For that, I went back, back, back and accessed all those resources and you are able to make it. So if you are getting one research article, go to the reviews, go to the references, go to the bibliography, access there based on the year of publication, go back, source the original article and you can make it out. That is how you need to understand. If you are going to do any research today, access its origin as the first and foremost step in mobilizing the resources. If you are able to access the resources from the origin, either in the form of theses, either in the form of ebooks, either in the form of reference books, either in the form of research articles, that is a wonderful resources. That, that's a way in which you can mobilize this. The other one is EPSCO's Academic Book Collection. Wonderful books which is available. You see, I have given the statistics. If you are registered with any of the uh, institutes, you can very well access. Otherwise, there are open access which you can get. And uh, there is one thing called as open textbook library. If you go to this link, you can get it. Dictionary of, directory of open access books. So these are the freely downloadable or freely accessible books which you can get for your research area. And most important because as I told you, today the whole world is behind these e-journals. I don't know. It's because of uh, the APA score or because of uh, the importance is given more to research articles. But in my opinion, research articles is generated from the thesis. Thesis is generated from the books. Okay? So we need to go back to that also. So as I told you, there is only one thing called E-South Sindhu. E-South Sindhu, Consortium for Higher Education is Electronic Resources, where you find it. In Flipnet, you find it alphabetically, subject-wise, publisher-wise. Even uh, you can go to uh, our UGC CAM, list one, list two. You can find the details, and uh, especially from Science Direct, Emerald, Gestor, Apka, uh, Oxford University Press, Project News, uh, Springer, Delhi, Backward, Tyler and Francis. So if you take it, your own discipline, you can very well collect uh, uh, the things. Uh, if you are from economics, commerce and management, please, rather than referring to the publisher or the database, please go to rated Rators like ABDC, Australian uh, uh, <coughs>
reminding it is uh, uh, S, uh, SCI and SCI extended, uh, then uh, IEEE, so a lot of things are coming out. Scopus, UTC CAD is going to be dominating the other way around. So this is what it is going to happen. We can collect research articles. Please, again, whenever you are collecting anything, don't just go with the keyword alone. Read how far that research article is relevant to your research. Then uh, there are some open access, like uh, directory of open access, like BS, DOAG, Academic Corp, Inspire, Springer Open, Journals. See, uh, these are private uh, uh, journals, I mean, uh, the publishers, they do two things. One, we need to pay and access. The other one, that is open access. You can always go ahead and you can access it. Then uh, probably that is one thing for us, uh, core ac.uk is one of the multidisciplinary advocates of open access research. SSR, many of you have accessed it. And economics, economics, especially for uh, economic literature, you can get it. So uh, you need to access not only books, not only theses, but also e-journals. And the fourth one is e-database. Beyond this, beyond these structured resources, there are assorted resources. Like we have assorted biscuits, right? Assorted biscuits. If you go to battery, you get everything over there, different, different colors, all taste and all. The same way, if you want to get extracts, full text of a magazine or a journal or trade publication, case studies, reports, industry profiles, news, working papers, conference proceedings, data sets, it is available in e databases. So there are something which is free, open access, there are something which are paid, and if you are part of any institute, you can always get into access to that. They would have purchased it. <coughs> is that okay? Can I move on further? Can you acknowledge? Anyone of you? Sir. Yeah, great. Thank you. So the next thing is that we like, like thank you. Thank you so much. So multidisciplinary, right? Uh, for example, we have Expo, Credo, uh, then Scopus, Sage, India Stack is one of the database with a huge data is available, plus reader. Academic video online, Scopus Index. See, again, I'm telling you, today, in my opinion, personal opinion, if you are accepting it, fine. Today, we are seeing more importance to verbal, verbal content, written verbal content, and uh, journals are given more importance. Maybe tomorrow, because of digital improvement, Google, especially, these platforms will force us uh, to go for academic videos also. Even an academic video can become equivalent to a journal tomorrow, a research article tomorrow, in my opinion. It is not only verbal research article is going to be there. In the future, we may have video articles. Audiovisual articles are also maybe, uh, which may be, as you already, academic video online has started. Even in the speeches, we can get ideas. That's what one of your participants was asking. Even in the speeches, we get ideas. Even in the uh, videos somebody is making out, you get enormous thinking out of it. You can generate your own topics. Then uh, e-databases like uh, Business Source, uh, Ultimate, Bluebird, CMIE, Capital Line, Company Newsers, Econ Light. So these are exclusively for Asia, Applied Social Science, Index and Abstracts. So these are some of the uh, social science resources, digital resources which are available. Like again, uh, uh, HS Talks, Henry Stewart Talks, videos now, as I told you, International Monetary Fund e library is there, Institute for St Studies in Industrial Development is there, World Bank data is there, beyond that, uh, you know, data are there, World Economic Power data are there, uh, a lot of, uh, uh, what do you call the authority or regulated bodies are data are there, which you can access. And finally, beyond this major uh, thesis, books, then uh, journals and uh, uh, the databases, beyond all these electronically and physically, we have uh, e-learning resources. Nowadays, we are creating so much of content every day, like EPG Pathasala. If you get into that website, you have, you have to register. Please register into that. And we have MIT Open Course, where is there three online courses on SWAM, MOOC courses are available, massive open online courses. Where from there, we get a lot of resources for our research. So there are specific scientific courses are available there. If you take it like uh, especially on analytics, 
especially on visual statistics, especially on mathematical models, especially on exploratory models, especially on certain uh, observations, especially on certain experiments, models, that there are so many courses which has come in which we need process. And uh, this is one uh, digital resources which I want to tell you, National Digital Library of India. So it is a one-stop solution, in my opinion. If you have access to this, uh, it is uh, taken care by uh, IIT Karakpur, actually. It is not taken care by UBC, it is taken care by IIT uh, uh, Karakpur. It, it joined uh, venture with uh, Ministry of Education. Formerly it was MHRD, today it is Ministry of Education. So uh, NDTL, IIT, K, KGP.ac.in, it is a, one of the... Whenever I do any kind of paper or research, I normally log into this and find out any sources of Indian history available. So you can access any resources from me. One stop solution today. Beyond that, uh, there are packages, or uh, it's a, one of the resources for data. We need to take into consideration beyond uh, the theoretical content, beyond uh, the metrology framing, let us take. Is a suppose this is which will give us digital G power G views, MATLAB, Vega, R, which is dominating Mathematica. Today, if you are getting into Python and Chapter of our Big Analytics, and all these are portable for quantitative, but NYY is a software which is used for qualitative. For example, if you are going to review any content and content analysis, and the NYY helps you in a bigger way today. Factor analysis, content analysis, which is done over there. Visual statistics, repetitive awards. Uh, very recently, even in the NDP, National Education Policy 2020, uh, many people are saying this code has uh, repeatedly came into this. All those statistics can be submitted, which shows that importance why they uh, make it. And uh, there are citation managers like uh, EndNote, Reference Works, open source like Zetora, Mandalay, which is uh, uh, which is very famous. So, which can be used as uh, citation managers where uh, it's one of the best resource. Like you can accumulate based on your need and you can use it for research. So, at least every researcher has to have any one of these. Encode or reference work or manly as a cut off. And uh, the style material manuals like uh, AMA, that is uh, the American Medical Association for uh, the fields. And APA for social sciences, American Psychological Association, Howard Sale, uh, then uh, uh, Van Gogh Stale, Citing Medicine, Alumni Medical Library. So there are so many things which are style manuals, which are resources, where after getting it, when you are drafting it, you need to have these. When you are drafting, you need such kind of resources or technology resources which can help you. Then beyond that, today the biggest thing is that life threat for any accreditation is plagiarism today. That is a life threat. Even uh, we lose our job, then we become a vice chancellor of the university. That level it has gone in. Because we know that uh, uh, ch vice chancellor is the highest position in any of the academic institutions. Even that they are getting into, uh, uh, for, uh, un un unfortunately, whether they have died, scholars have done, they have done, unfortunately. So even uh, our, when we do PhD and after 20 years, 30 years, if somebody finds that it is plagiarized, if somebody comes mm -hmm. and file a case against you, mm -hmm. that the even it data. goes into losing mm -hmm. of your job at the age, please understand. So in that situation, like these are wonderful resources like uh, Black Scan, Plagiarism mm -hmm. Checker, Plagiarism mm -hmm. Duplic Checker. Uh, these are open beyond uh, uh, the, the other regular we use. Uh, that is Urkul and uh, the uh, Terrain. So Copy uh, Gutter and Uri Checker. So these are some of the resources which we normally use. It. And uh, subscribe to our tournament, good for bike for copy leaks, little bit. So these are some of the uh, subscribe softwares which, uh, which is available. So, till now, I was talking about non-financial resources, especially when you want to collect your review, when you want to collect your data, and when you want to analyze your data from various sources, and when you want to prepare your document, and without any practice, a free document, that you can do all this. Citations is more important today. 
Like, uh, for example, uh, if you are doing any research work and it has to be cited by others to get your credibility, quality. For that, you need to have an author profile mm -hmm. services. Like, uh, you should have a Scopus author ID, research ID, artist. Uh, the best thing you can have is artist. Or Google uh, citation services, the Google uh, scholar ID. So, you can always create it. If you are a researcher, please have at least an artist ID. And Google Scholar ID. It might be a step to you to decide. See, Archid ID is now becomes a, one of the important author ID for any publication. Why I'm saying this is that once you come, you are not going to complete your research and you are going to okay. you are going to stop doing research. You are going to continuously doing it. For that, you need to create. So that's what, for example, in India we have Doctor B. But when I when I converted myself as author, I felt like it is not required. They require two names. Surname as well as that. Then I made it uh, uh, Arun Murugan Malayam. Arun Murugan B. So Arun Murugan Malayam is my uh, uh, author profile now globally. So if you put Arun Murugan Malayam, then you have unique archive ID. Uh, we can access. We can add all your uh, content into that, and that citation uh, is going on. As the students are valued based on the grades and marks. Today, the researchers are valued based on their citation score. For that, we need boxes. And beyond that, social media has come in a bigger way for collecting data, sourcing information. I'm, I'm truly, last, full decade, last one decade, I have accessed social media for various data, various ideas, various things. And even through social media, you can increase your citation. It is official. Through social media, you collect data by sharing your Google form. And a lot of invites today come from social media. Either in LinkedIn or in Facebook or in Twitter or in WhatsApp. So Telegram. So whatever it may be, social media becomes wonderful resources for research. And beyond that, I am lucky enough because I am part of Polish University. Uh, we have a library called as Ananda Langer Library, Polish University. That way you can see here, maybe if it access, I will show you. Yeah, here is it. Are you able to see this web page? Can anyone see this web page? Yes, sir. Yeah. So maybe uh, if you are part of project university or even uh, the other things like this, all the UST has their own uh, uh, e-libraries in the form of a website. So you can access it here. You can see institutional repository. We have uh, OPAC, uh, internet, print journal, digital library. So everything is here. You can see here national digital library, view research facility, JK. Uh, maybe from I'm sitting in Karakal, I'm accessing a digital book. So Institute of Digital Library, Alternative Values of Checks. So all details are available in one stop. Here we, we normally get in and we normally access every details actually. Right? So this is a one stop solution that our institution has created for us and we are accessing anywhere, anytime. Even at 12 o'clock, I can log in with the remote login system and access some of the subscriber log, uh, journals or e databases which I can use it for research. So all the institution may should it equip now. Rather than mounting volumes of books in the library, they can create digital libraries, which will which will make uh, the researchers to much work on and which can go ahead. So access your own uh, libraries. That's what I mean to say. Right. Moving on to final part of it. The other one beyond the resources, like financial resources, is more important. As I told you, funds are more important. And uh, these are, uh, we are, when you are looking at the funding agencies for research uh, as such uh, projects, like we, we can divide into Indian research funding agencies, international research funding agencies. For example, international research funding agencies, we have World Bank, IMF, Antwoord, uh, then uh, even though, and various uh, uh, economics headquarters, they are giving you a lot of uh, fellowship or postdoctoral, like Roman fellowship or uh, Commonwealth fellowship, Fulbright fellowship. There are so many international fellowships are available for research. But as far as India is concerned, I have a list to show you. Just now I was showing, no, like our university in our library portal, they have given what are the Indian research agencies, international research agencies, how to write proposal writing also. It's a one-point solution, so you can I can also put that uh, link into uh, what you call it as, to your chat box. One second. 
So you can access this. You can copy. Uh, you may not click it from here. I'm putting it in my chat box. You can copy and paste it in your notepad, in your mobile, or in your uh, laptop, and you can go to all those links which I'm showing now. Just one minute, sir. Taking one screenshot. Sir, no need, sir. I will, I will give you the entire PPT. Don't worry. Okay, okay sir. And, okay, and I have given these links in the chat box. You can copy from the chat box and keep it in your file because that okay. uh, that is important. Thank so, you, so here uh, you can find whether you are science or social science, never mind. Like uh, you can see here uh, CSR, and, uh, Department of Biotechnology, Department of uh, DRDO, so everything, Indian Council of Social Science, every link is here, here given. So for international and national, so you can access based on your convenience, your uh, research domain. So and sorry to interrupt you, uh, only the names are there in the chat box, right? No, I have given the links. The first link I am opening it, I am showing you. Okay, sir. And I am going to the second link now. So just copy that, put it in your word file. Mm -hmm. Then if you click it from there, you will get it. Sir, you will send this PPT over here? I will send it to sir as well as I will put it in the... If sir permits, I will put it in the WhatsApp group. Sure. Okay. Thank you so much, sir. Yeah, nothing is there. Everything is free. We need to go... Uh, the research integrity, that's what UGC talks about. And uh, this is what we call it as uh, the Industrial Research and Development Unit. And uh, that is maintained by IIT Delhi. They have come out with a huge list of uh, funding agencies. Depending on your discipline, you can access. Okay? I'm just giving you the term spot of time, not moving on much. And there's another uh, link. Yeah. So this is by Indian government itself. Uh, here, if you go to india.gov.in, you find every detail here. Again, all these details are here. So you can you can go to n number of pages, you can access the funding agencies list. Okay. And this is one uh, PDF file, probably I'll also try to send this a little later. So here also where to approach for R and D funds. So entire detail is given. All these are given in uh, the link itself. So don't worry about that. So this is where the funding agencies. And most important point of time, the most popular two funding agencies we have is uh, UDC and ICSSR. And mm -hmm. uh, if you go to UDC, there are conventional yeah, projects, there are special schemes. Yeah, the is, it, is it viewable now? Friends, is it viewable? My PPT is viewable? Yes, yes. Yeah. 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 Thank you. So, like uh, UDC.ACI, if you go there, you yeah, have minor projects and major projects and uh, minor projects are 3 lakhs and uh, the period is 2 years. Major project is 15 lakhs and the period is 3 years. And the person who is applying for a project is called a principal investigator and uh, he can have two other uh, principal investigators. It's a conventional. Throughout the year you can apply. And ICSSR also has a conventional projects. Now they have gone into notification and uh, they have gone into website also. Like uh, they have uh, what you call it as ICSSR database. Go to ICSSR website, register yourself, you will have a database for applying for funding. Okay? So minor research project, major research project. Here we are called as project director, project co-director. Again, 5 lakhs for one year project, 15 lakhs for two year project. And beyond that, there are two schemes. UGC has come out with one scheme called a stride. Right? And uh, the stride uh, guidelines, there are three components. Uh, first component is for institution. It is given for three years, one crore. And component two is for assistant professor and associate professor who are in regular mode for three years, up to 50 lakhs. Two calls till now it has gone over. Uh, maybe we are waiting for the next call. And component three, it is up to five crores for five years. It is especially for professors and they have to collaborate with two to four institutions. So first component for institution, Second component for individual, third component for individual and institutional collaboration. So more yeah, I have something, some question and some comments. Uh, should I put at the end? You can or ask the them itself. Choice is yours. Uh, myself, Pranam Dhar. Uh, you are, whatever you are saying is very fine and that is very much helpful to all the researchers. But uh, here one thing is that for UGC stride, uh, the university must be accredited with at least A. Uh, without which uh, these are not qualified. And second thing for 
ICSC sir, Impress and others, uh, many applicants have been taken, but they are uh, in the portal uh, for so many times. Uh, no response is coming, maybe due to inadequacy of fund of that agency. So, just these are only my own observations from yes, my sir. own perception. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Thank you, Parana. Please look into the eligibility, university or college under section 2F and 12B of UBC Act 1956. They are only eligible here. As far as UBC is concerned, as you said. And as far as ICSs are impressed, so all the government funded institutions, including universities, and if there is a private institution with UBC 12B status, they are eligible. And they are also giving up to 50 lakhs uh, two year duration. And you can be a retired faculty also. But the PhD for UDC, PhD is must. For ICSSR, for project director, PhD is must. For college board directors, there is not required. So you can you can be uh, without PhD also, you can join with the other person. And here, one beauty is this is that uh, two projects you can apply at the same time. And if the two both are being selected, you have to leave one. That's another thing. And uh, that is what I mean to say that there are so many agencies are there as. If you want to know how to prepare a research proposal and how to submit online, all those we can have a separate session. Maybe somewhere uh, uh, we can meet. I'm doing that also. So if you are if you are able to see any invitation on that, please join with it. I will have an exclusive session on three years. So if we ask on that, how to apply, how to prepare a project, how to apply, and how to get funding. And this is what. Uh, and we can apply like, or there no, is. No, there are two parts. Conventional projects, we can apply any time. There are certain funding agencies who allows us to apply 24 into 7, 365 days. But okay. there are uh, funding agencies which are very particular on calls based on notification. Okay. So we need to check it out regularly. That's what I was saying. No, ICSSR was giving conventionally throughout the year. Anytime we can ascend. But now they have made it as a notification. Last call. Uh, in, in, the, in 2020, we got it and we have submitted, we are waiting for the result. As I was saying that, in 2019 also we have submitted. UDC stride also we have submitted in 2019. Last two years in pandemic, I think we are also waiting for it. I have also applied for projects for both the sources. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and this, year, sir, this year, August, I have applied for uh, ICSSR major project, but no response as yet has come. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's what I'm there I, in the portal. Yeah, true, sir. I am also an applicant. I'm not an authority of ICSSR. I'm also PK Cross and waiting for it. Hope so, because that's what in last week I think uh, they have processed uh, uh, the SR, I mean, uh, sorry, PDF uh, scholars and uh, they are, are getting admitted this week. Probably that's what I'm looking forward. Probably this month or so, probably they'll keep on touch on it and we'll get good news. And uh, these are some of the references which you can uh, just go ahead, uh, guidance document. Uh, this is the one document which came in academic integrity and research quality. I request all the uh, participants to download from uh, uh, the UDC website and try to go through this. And this is my YouTube channel, Dr. P. Arun Margan. Please subscribe this. You will get enormous ideas on data analytics, uh, project proposal preparation. All those videos are also available. If you have a free time, you can access it. Great session, oh, sir. Great session. And thanks a lot, sir. And uh, thanks a lot for Indian Economic Researchers Association, Indian Accounting Association, especially uh, Dr. Paramasinam, sir, one of my uh, inspiration, I can tell you that, uh, one of the inspiration who is organizing so many activities. And uh, I think this is the second program I'm collaborating with him. Uh, in the future, now I'm a life member of this. So anytime my service will be at your, uh, at your service for the researchers. Sir. So thank you a lot, and if you have any queries, I'm bound to answer. I know it's 5-5, five, five. still, uh, if, it, uh, if, we, if you can go ahead, we can answer your questions. I have a very good observation, not query. Can I share, sir? Yeah, please, sir, please. Apart from all your qualities, extraordinary qualities, you are a very good person. That depicts from your gesture. So, uh, thank you very much for being with us, and uh, we got a lot from you. More than enough. Thank you so thank much. You, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Arul Murugan, sir. Uh, and also, in this occasion, I wholeheartedly welcome our Honorable All India General Secretary, Dr. Pranam, sir. Uh, uh, he was busy with but, his but academic activities. I don't have the habit of interrupting, but here I will interrupt. <laughs> Today is an auspicious day. 
I believe from my from the core of my heart because today is the birthday of our very respected Dr. Parama Sivan sir. Thank so, you. Uh, this is uh, a kind of person, Dr. Krishna Kumar sir is also here. So uh, this is the kind of person who is celebrating his birthday in that fashion by organizing one very good workshop for the help of all the researchers. So very happy birthday to you sir. And Thank you, sir. Love and gratitude from the core. Thank, Thank you for your blessings and uh, uh, support, sir. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, uh, dear participant, is there any questions? Please uh, ask to the resource person. He will explain. Participants, if you want to ask any questions. Mm -hmm. Okay. So thank you. Uh, uh, so thank you for your valuable information, sir. Uh, before vote of thanks, I invite uh, our Honorable All India General Secretary, Dr. Pranamda, to felicitate this program. Thank you so much, sir. Already I have given my observation, but it is a, uh, definitely a part of protocol uh, as uh, invited by our Honorable President, sir. Uh, Dr. C. Paramodhivan sir, very respected person and uh, the motto of our Indian Academic Researchers Association and also Indian Academic As uh, Accounting Association, Pirichira Pulibra, Dr. Krishna Kumar sir and all other respected dignitaries are here and especially Dr. Uh, Arul Murugan, uh, our honorable uh, research person for today. Uh, this innovation ecosystem itself was a very good name and uh, was an innovative name when it came to me and uh, for uh, approval, uh, Dr. Parma Sivan sir requested, I was astonished. What is the, what is the, what a name, uh, that name itself depicts that we are going to try something new for the researchers and this is the, this has been the motto of our IARA and also Indian Accounting Association, to come up with certain new things for the researchers, especially the budding researchers and to start with this type of topic, that is uh, how to get funds. The paucity of funds uh, give, uh, gives closer to the research. For every research, we need some funds. So this topic was very pertinently selected. And the research person, wonderful session, Dr. Ayu Murugan, and uh, very humbly, he said lots of things. I know very well that, that Dr. Paramashivan sir also know about very, very much about different funding agencies. I know him from 2010. He has done a lots of research projects and Dr. Krishna Kumar also. Myself also has done some, some research projects. So this is very much helpful uh, to the researcher if we share whatever we know. And this is the specialty of our association that we don't have any ego. We don't have any uh, such kind of professor, associate professor, and assistant professor stigma. And we, whatever we believe, we share with our peers. So uh, I. Heartily welcome this type of program. In the pandemic, Dr. Parama Sivan sir has guided us to do different kinds of these types of programs and whatever support has been uh, given by me is on the basis of his inspiration and motivation only. And all of us, like Dr. Krishna Kumar sir, Murugeshwari Mayor, all of us are here uh, to do something for the society. Uh, Indian Academic Researchers Association, the trust behind that and the objective and the motto of that was only do good research to good maximum good to the uh, maximum people. So I think that is uh, purely satisfied. So uh, Mubarakali sir is also here. Very good afternoon sir. So I think uh, our today's program has been very much successful. The feedback uh, given by the participants depicts that. And I uh, don't say much because lots of I have already said, uh, but the problem is that the researchers have also to understand that funding agencies are available. But two things you have to keep in mind. First of all, you are taking money for the research only, not for your own consumption. This you have to keep in mind. So uh, the expenditures under heads, we have the people from commerce, so we have to keep in mind the expenditure under each head must be kept within limit, first of all. Secondly, the UC must be given as per the GFR 12C or GFR 19A, whatever it is, the UC must be given in time so that you are having, you are being in good book of UGC or ICSS or other funding agencies. 
when you miss the deadline you will not get the project for the second time so these two statements are being added by me from my own perception and th thank you once again our very respected uh, resource person sir dr rahul murugan sir and uh, our honorable president dr parom sivan sir dr krishna kumar sir dr mubarak ali sir and others and very learned participants thank you so much <coughs> thank you pranam sir for your inspirational and valuable feedback as well as advice to the budding researchers uh, because this kind of information is very needed many of the researchers and applicants they don't know why our proposal has not selected so this information will be very useful to them so with these things i uh, invite our uh, uh, office bearer dr krishna kumar sir to offer word of thanks mm -hmm. good evening madam Uh, thank you for your, uh, I mean, valuable presence, uh, Professor Parapuzan Sir, All India President IARA, the vibrant speaker and uh, enthusiastic uh, researcher, Professor Pranamda, who is the main advisor and uh, the main uh, backbone of this IARA, because by his initiation only we took a uh, lot of, uh, I mean, uh, I mean, backdrop work and uh, initiative to conduct a lot of uh, webinars during the COVID pandemic period. So thank uh, for your entire uh, support and the courage for keeping us with uh, busy activities in during pandemic period. Thank you, sir. Wherever you are, you are there, definitely that forum will be uh, more uh, happiest to us. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank and uh, I thank all the office bearers of IARA from Tamil Nadu and uh, all India for the valuable presence and uh, support for conducting each of the activity conducted through. Indian Accounting Association and Indian Academic Research Association, and uh, here I want to say uh, thank uh, Professor Arun 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 Murugan, who is my very good friend. Uh, he clearly portrayed uh, everything about uh, how to, I mean, write a uh, research article or how to get fund from a funding agency by quoting all the electronic media and uh, all the e-sources. And the other web sources available in the internet, and the where we have to tap uh, to collect the information for, I mean, making our project, our article, whatever uh, that we are working for, more meaningful. So thank you for your initiative, sir. It is very, very vibrant, and it is a really very, very that is called a, a positive note, like a, such a young uh, very, 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 very. I mean, in comparison with this, you are an instar. So you are an interest of enthusiasm. Pushed us to work more and more towards the achievement of some uh, academic uh, activities. So you are uh, taking a lot of uh, responsibilities in the university, and personally you are, uh, I mean, working with a uh, lot of uh, academic and other social activities. I don't know how you are finding uh, to, I mean, perform all the tasks and, uh, I mean, your programs. So in this occasion, definitely, I hope that uh, being a university employee. Most of us, you know, about how to write the article or how to conduct the research in a most successful manner. In the successful manner, the important thing is quality. How to conduct a quality research? As far as as far as the quality is concerned, the important thing is scientific research. It is a modern aspect. So your entire views and the thoughts and your presentation is rightly pointed out how to conduct a scientific research through the quality orientation. So I hope that uh, every participant will attain and again some better knowledge about uh, that uh, how to conduct scientific research. How to conduct scientific research is not a not a matter. It is a systematic way. It is a systematic way and it is a systematic path uh, towards uh, the things to be done in the order. So our presentation clearly reveals everything about the particular aspect. The topic of this session is actually. Hello, sir. Krishna Kumar, sir. I think there is a problem in network. Yeah, sir. yeah, in this network.
Okay, so, no, no okay. problem, sir. Um, uh, so, so on behalf of the Indian Academic Researcher Association, uh, thanks to the thanks to Dr. Krishnakumar sir for his valuable what up thanks in this occasion. Uh, once again, I thanks to the resource person, Dr. Arul Murugan. Uh, you are always uh, motivating uh, the young research scholars. Your target audience is, uh, I think, uh, is my point of view. Your target audience is uh, research scholars as well as the students. So you are focusing more to them. So really, this kind of uh, uh, motivation is needed for the academic academic people because nowadays, uh, uh, you know that uh, how the quality of higher education, particularly in research. How the we scholars are expecting uh, from the guide and other things uh, uh, in this way. That's why that academic uh, Indian Academic Researcher Association, myself and uh, Pranamdar Krishna Kumar, we are struggling or we are uh, uh, fighting against uh, uh, there is no compromise. Uh, the, there should not be a compromise in academic activities. Yes. Uh, so that is our motto. Even it may be uh, small things, it should be original one. That is our intention. Uh, that is enough. Quality research, that is the important for the, for the pitch. Yes, yes sir, yes sir. In that way only, that Indian Academic Researcher Association, uh, it is an eye-opening session uh, right. to the... Every one of you. Yeah. Every, for, every participants. For every participants. Yeah. So I so hope the, the participants... This is the specialty that even all the participants were very proactive. Yeah, uh, this yeah. is the magic of Dr. Arul Murugan. Yes, so, yes. So, uh, really splendid. Thank yeah. you so much. He is, a, he is a resource person in 24 into 7. Every day yeah. he will be a resource person in everywhere. So, <laughs> that kind of uh, person. Uh, so, really, we are very proud of you, sir, uh, in a part of our association. Uh, thank you to all. Tomorrow, there will be another session which is going to uh, handle by Radha Vyas. She is also one of the active researcher, uh, eminent from lecturer. Hmm? From Gujarat. Yeah, from Gujarat. Yes, Gujarat. Yes, so yes. we hope the participants, uh, you will enjoy the tomorrow session also. So my humble request to all the participants, participants must uh, participate and submit your feedback form uh, every day. Then only you will be uh, get a, you are eligible to receive the certificate, e certificates. So in this way, uh, with the permission of our All India General Secretary Dr. Pranamdar as well as our State President Dr. Krishna Kumar, so I end this meeting. Uh, thank, you, thank, you so thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Stay thank well. You. Stay well, everybody. Yeah. Thank and you. And once again, happy birthday, Dr. Parmesan. Thank you. Thank you yes. for your wishes. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Happy birthday to you, sir. Thank you. Thank you to all. Happy birthday to you, sir. Yeah. Thank you, madam. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, madam. Thank you for your blessings. Many more happy of the day, sir. Thank you, madam. Thank you.